Hi, everyone. Everyone, we've got a Wednesday self-care class for you. <coughs> We're just coming off the integrative sound healing training, so we're pretty jazzed. <laughs> Everybody's fired up. We've been doing this weekend after weekend. This um, self-care method is based on this book. You can order it on Amazon if you're in Europe. You can send me an email. And uh, we've got different people around the world who are sending the books and cards out to people. Each class, we dedicate ourselves to one of the cards. So I believe that what we're up to right now are the Soothe cards. In other words, they're, they're different colors, um, and they represent different meridians, different energies that you can activate in your system. <coughs> so we're up to the Soothe cards. Sooth cards are the meridians of the bladder, the kidney, and the pericardium. So when the bladder's not working, you push. You force it. You force yourself to keep going, even though you know that you would like to rest. So this kind of pushing, forcing, stubborn, unwilling, you know that you need to restore but you won't give yourself that hour. This kind of stubbornness, pushing back like, I can't. And it's like, well, what will, what will be enough so that you will, will relax? Do you have to get sick? Do you have to get injured? What will help you understand that the body needs to rest? So... Hey, snowy New Jersey. Yeah, they got like 24 inches. Um, the other card, uh, the other meridian uh, is the kidney meridian. So it's like if you don't restore and you just keep going, keep going, keep going, you push, 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 adrenals blow out, kidney gets affected. So then there's a feeling of exhaustion. There's a feeling of hysteria. There's a feeling of, of being alone and abandoned and insecure and um, fearful. So this is then the kidney not working. And then the last one in our blue cards is the pericardium. Pericardium is the feeling of being held. So held by your family, held by your loved ones. Um, feeling connected in a way that's not only meaningful but also pleasurable. So beautiful smells, beautiful sounds, um, sharing pictures, you know, uh, sensory sensations, you know, pe um, petting your pet, um, skin to skin contact, beautiful smells, essential oils, hot mineral springs, all of that. So w when you don't allow yourself pleasure and the pericardium meridian is debilitated, there's a feeling of aversion. You're just like, you won't allow yourself feelings of pleasure. So, you know, the Soothe cards really are reminding you that it's, it's time to restore. It's time to get yummy. It's time to find things that restore and make you feel like a million bucks. Okay? And so <coughs> when, you, when you won't or you don't, then you've got the kid, the uh, bladder meridian saying, <coughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am not going to give myself experiences of pleasure. I'm unwilling. I'm inflexible. I don't have time. A million excuses. The uh, kidney meridian, when it's debilitated, again, just fear, hysteria, and then the pericardium um, a feeling of aversion. You're just like, you know what? I'm just going to go in my own little room. I'm going to go in my own little space. I'm just going to not talk to anybody. It's like, okay, 
you know, silent retreats, great. Meditation retreats, okay, you planned that out. You're going in with a full heart. You're going open and willing. Pulling away from everybody and saying that you're not going to share your problems, you're not going to share your pleasure, um, that's just a sign that you haven't given yourself a chance to restore. I love these cards. I love this method. Um, it's been really pleasurable to teach everybody over this past month. So if you're interested in the next training, we do two trainings a year. <coughs> so we'll do about, you know, 20, 30 minutes of tapping, breathing, and clearing. I'll play about 10 or 15 minutes sound relaxation so that you can restore Rub your palms together, close the eyes, and just feel something in between the hands. Hear something. What are you doing? Oh, making electricity. Maybe do it on the other side. <coughs> Let the other ear hear it. back to the first side. <coughs> I always imagined, like, maybe this is what photosynthesis sounds like. <laughs> this is us activating energy. Other side. Good. Palms over the eyes. Keep the breathing passage open. Open the eyes into the hands and receive something wonderful Sunlight, <coughs> sunlight on the water, a fresh breeze, newly fallen snow. Receive something from a larger energy source, something you didn't make, but you definitely enjoy. Breathe it in. Good. Close the eyes. Let's rub the palms together again. Let's go back of the hand, front of the hand. <coughs> back of the hand, front of the hand. Namaste, Shelly. Namaste, Chetna. So nice to see you. Six meridians in the hands, six meridians in the feet. Don't forget the thumb. Thumb is a lung meridian. All right, palms over the eyes. Just receive that small amount of electricity. Hold the eyes steady on one point. Something bright, sunny, cheerful. Something in nature, breathe in. Allow goodness to come in through the eyes. Close the eyes, relax the hands down. And just feel the body. Small amounts of electricity moving through the cells, through the neurotransmitters, through the muscles, through the organs. <coughs> Let's take the first um, integrate card, which is arms up and breathe. This why we do this because the lung meridian is located in the thumb. So if you know someone who's depressed, ask them to put their arms up every day. If they can't hold their arms up, they can put them up on a wall <coughs> and just lean into the wall. So twinkle your fingers. I know you can't really see that. Twinkle the fingers. <coughs> now shake the hands. Now shake the hands. 
to the sides, in front, behind. All around. And then arms up, spread the fingers wide, spread the thumbs wide, inhale. <clears throat> and hold the arms up while you exhale, make the spine as long as you can. And exhale down. <clears throat> Card number 24, <clears throat> dance, all right? So if you can, stand up. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to move the hips. We're going to move the shoulders. If you can't um, stand up, then you're going to wiggle the shoulders and wiggle the hips in your, in your chair, okay? So just <clears throat> some expression of joy. Yay, if you can get the arms up, yay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just uh, 60 seconds of dancing. Here we go. Okay, arms up and rest. I just realized I could play my music for dancing. I'm like, I can't play Bruno Mars, but I could play my music. Let's do it again. But for now, inhale up. Stretch the arms up. Twinkle the fingers. And exhale down. What we're trying to do is to get the energy moving. <clears throat> All right, this isn't super fast, but good enough for dancing. Here we go. It's called Underground. It's from uh, my album, High Energy. Oh well, all right, let's just dance. <laughs> this is not a real track, this is some <coughs> experiment. Shrug the shoulders up, 
move the rib cage from side to side. Just want to unlock the energy. <clears throat> Softness in the neck, flexibility in the neck. <clears throat> All right, this is a shudder. So you're basically making your spine go like that, and then stop, and then stop. Okay, so this is one way, not the only way, but a way to release fear from the system. So we do this naturally. Self-care is filled with all kinds of obvious, common sense, natural ways that we already use in day-to-day -day life. So it's you know based on yoga um, because the exhale is connected to apana. Apana is the getting rid of uh, energy flow in the body. Okay, so if you want to, you can do this with your hand. Otherwise. <sighs> like, ugh, that was that was terrible, right? Ugh, that was awful. That was ugh, disgusting or whatever. <clears throat> Use the exhale, shudder the spine. Let's get rid of it. <clears throat> I'm holding on to my knees. Maybe that helps you. <clears throat> Good. And then shrug the shoulders off. And let the shoulders go down. <sighs> go ahead and <clears throat> nod the head yes. So you're basically moving the chin up and down. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then say no, moving side to side, no. <coughs> Good, now let's go ahead and do a figure eight. So if you had a uh, magic marker on your nose, then you'd be drawing a, a number eight on its side. So again, just making sure that the very top of the spine, axis and atlas, are relaxed, fluid, flexible, Good, so let's um, inhale. Let the chin be heavy. And exhale, blow out like birthday candles. Any stress, any fear, any deadline, any boundary. Let's try it again, inhale. Blow out birthday candles. And send a message to the cells that it's okay to release. It's over, right? It's over. Let's do card number three, dealing with the neck. All right, so we just did the axis and atlas are kind of like a <coughs> ball and socket joint. Uh, at the base of the skull, at the top of the spine. So by doing that little figure eight with your nose, then you're just allowing that joint to be oiled, fluid, flexible. So go ahead and take one hand, and uh, we'll do the number three card. So the palm will be flat against the side of the neck. Fingers wrap around the back of the of the neck. <coughs> Try and use the finger, you know, like the insides of the fingers itself. Like don't crunch in too much on the, the finger pads. Just try and squeeze the fingers towards the heel of the hand. All right? Palm is flat on the neck. And then just squeeze the fingers themselves towards the heel of the hand as you bring the chin higher, and bring the heart higher, pulling the heart up towards heaven, 
Hand on the knee or hand on the chair behind you. Hand on the floor behind you. And just squeeze. If you need to release and reset, you can do that. You can move up the spine, you know, a couple millimeters and then a couple millimeters, cradling the neck. Pull the heart up to heaven. And when you're ready, then bring the heart forward until it's easy to release the hand from the neck and just feel that beautiful, pleasurable feeling. The neck is like a mile wide. That's so cool. Like in 30 seconds, 60 seconds, you can feel so different. Lips are touching, teeth are not. A free flow of energy through the head, the neck, and the body. Good. If you're on the floor, you can probably just lift your feet and drop them. This is card number 51. How about your feet? Yeah, like how about it? So if you're sitting in a chair, you just raise one foot off the ground. Maybe you can hear that as my foot strikes the floor. And just one foot up. So you just like, Bleh. like that. So what does impact stimulation do? It sends a message, a signal to the bones to create more osteoblasts. Wakes up the tissue. Good. And inhale. And exhale. Let's do the other hand. So we're still on card number three here on the neck. So the palm is flat against the side of the neck. I like it underneath any hair. Some of you might not have the long hair that gets in the way. So it's underneath any hair and the fingers wrap around the other side of the neck. So you can begin with the chin forward and you'll feel a kind of big slab of neck, inflexible, not changing, not moving. And then as you lift the chin up, you'll feel the muscles soften. And as you do, the uh, insides of the fingers, then they pull towards the, the heel of the hand. And pull the heart up towards the sky. Again, you can adjust. You can move a little up the neck if you like. hand on the knee, the other hand on the knee, or maybe even behind you for balance. And when you're ready, then lean forward, bring the heart center forward until it feels easy to release the hand and just sit with a straight spine and feel the wi wideness of the neck. The neck is all about getting things done, self-will, speaking your truth, and it's just like, ah, so expanded. Let's do the bubbling lips card. <coughs> this is basically pouting your, your, puckering your lips in kind of a pout. And then you're gonna make a sound through the lips. Okay, you're gonna exhale through the lips while the lips are pursed. It sounds like this.
If you'd like to take the hands and just bring them over the face, just to kind of allow the energy to not escape from the face, but to be reflected back in. You can open the eyes if you want. Creating an internal space that's balanced and that feels good to you. And one more. And inhale. Exhale and just feel the vibration in the lips, in the gums, the tongue, the mouth, and the jaw. Vibration. What does vibration do? It creates movement, it creates space in the cells. and coherent energy. Sound is a wave that goes down as much as it goes up. It is completely balanced. Good. So let's do all that again. So go ahead and raise the <coughs> feet up and drop them down. Let's add a little slapping on the thighs. So this is impact, impact stimulation sends a message to the tissues and also to the bones to wake up, to create more osteoblasts, to become stronger, <coughs> to engage, to release toxins. <coughs> Good. Try and go all the way down the legs if you can reach. Good. And then let's do the whole belly area, card number card number nine. Love potion number nine. Okay. <coughs> Just using flat flat hands. That's good enough. Wrap all the way around the rib cage if you can all the way around the waist. So the organs, when they don't get, uh, you know, the twisting and the exercising and maybe a little too much food, then they get uh, sacks of fat, kind of layers of fat around the organs. You can stimulate them to go ahead and let go so that the organs can breathe and do their job. Intestines on the bottom, bladder on the bottom, intestines around the waistline, oh, liver underneath the right rib cage, gallbladder, middle pancreas, over on the left side, stomach, spleen. And then hands just rubbing up and down, just flat palm, rubbing on the kidneys in the back, so the back of the waistline. Inhale, clearing breath. <sighs> allowing the tiredness, allowing the inflammation allowing the emotions to arise so that they can be ushered out with the breath. Inhale. Oh. Ah. 
That's a snarl. <laughs> ah, I call it exasperated sigh. You're pushing a little bit. You're like, ah. Good. Let's continue in the chest area. <clears throat> Same thing. We'll just use the... Um, we'll just use flat palms. And so you can go all around the, the breast plate. You can go around the breast, chest, pecs. <coughs> Again, just stimulating. And include the arms. Go down one arm with the other arm. Do the Tibetan version of that. So you're basically just gonna um, sweep out on the top and in on the bottom. Out on the top, in on the bottom. Other side, <clears throat> out on the top, in on the bottom. shoulders, move the chin, let's do card number one, stimulating the scalp, fingertips go in the, <coughs> in the scalp and you move the scalp over the skull bone. A little bit like shampooing your hair, but we're not concerned with the hair. We're concerned with the scalp. So moving the scalp over the skull bone, there's a layer of fluid between the scalp and the skull bone. It's called cerebrospinal fluid. Hello. Hello, cerebrospinal fluid. In yoga, called ojas, it is <coughs> impaired. Its flow is impaired through Wi-Fi, cell phone, towers, 4G, 5G, microwaves, electricity, or large doses of electricity. If you find something stagnant, like, uh, then you know that's the time to blow it out. There you go. Around the ears, triple warmer meridian, sides of the head, gallbladder meridian. <sighs> Governing meridian on the top. Mm. <sighs> so again, the soothe cards are about that feeling of resistance. You know you that you have to restore. You know you have to take a day off. You know you have to do something different, but you're resisting it. You're unwilling. <clears throat> Inhale, feel whatever you feel. And exhale, let it go out. Just let it flow right out. <sighs> the human experience is about something coming in and something going out. Even if it's great energy, right? You give it away. You let it go out because more good energy is coming in. Try again. Inhale. <coughs> and exhale. Let's go back to bubbling lips. If you like, you can uh, close, the, close the face like we did before. You can open the eyes into the hands or leave... The eyes closed. Bubbling lips. Pucker the lips out like you're pouting. 
and then okay as long an exhale as you can make like don't not like i'm done <laughs> try and purse the lips together and then just like you jolly breath you're just making that exhale really long Relax the hands down. Take a breath in. And let it go. We're dedicating our class to soothe cards. Soothing energy. Giving ourselves time to restore release and rejuvenate. So let's do this whole thing again with the bubbling lips. But this time I'm adding card number 38, which is listen to the inner sounds. And so as you have your hands up like so, you can then uh, use a thumb. So you have your, your eyes closed, but you can use a thumb in order to block the ears. You can just experiment with that. If you want to take the earbuds off, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. You can still kind of press in um, with the thumbs and then you'll hear the sound inside the body a little bit louder or maybe a lot louder. <laughs> okay, so let's do that for two minutes, bubbling lips with blocking off the ears.
Relaxing the hands down when you're ready. Feel the vibration in the mouth, the teeth, the face, the spine, your whole being. Allowing the body to restore. Lips are touching, teeth are not. Feeling the living web of light moving through the cells. If you'd like to lie down for the relaxation, you can otherwise, if you're sitting in the chair, feet flat on the floor, spine straight. Feeling the vibration of the breath and your sound moving through the body. Feeling the breath coming in <coughs> and going out. Creating a safe haven inside the body. Using the breath Jema 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 Jim, 
Feeling the breath moving through the body. Celebrating the miracle within. Everything in perfect coordination. Moving the fingers and the toes. Maybe gently moving the spine from side to side. We are celebrating the Soothe cards, allowing the body to restore, creating spaces of healing and quiet. Moving the fingers, maybe moving the toes. Ah. Uh. Stretching the arms up 
And if you're not getting up, don't do this. Just enjoy. <laughs> stay, stay on your back or wherever you are relaxing. And maybe relax for the rest of the day. <sighs> Rub the palms together. Feeling the spaciousness in the cells in between the hands. Palms over the eyes. Receive your energy. Now it's easy. It sounds like you, feels like you, looks like you. Maybe you see a color. One more time, close the eyes, rub the palms together, wash the face with the hands, any part of the body that might need a little extra. I'm just distributing. This felt like a healing concert. So nice. And our ending meditation will be tapping the thymus. So thymus is the part of the lymph system. It is a uh, small gland that creates white blood cells. All right? So just tap the, thy the thymus, and we'll use the mantra. I am celebrating. I am celebrating. I am celebrating. One more time. I am celebrating. All right, hand down. Anything that came up that doesn't want to celebrate <laughs> you're going to blow that out, all right? Blow it out. All right. I see on the chat box here we're celebrating going off to sleep lab tonight. We're celebrating restoration. We're celebrating love. We're celebrating cooperation. We're celebrating healing and health. Thank you guys so much for being part of the Wednesday class. You really make my day. Um, we'll see you on Friday for a mantra concert, or else I'll see you next Wednesday. You can always like say hi on Instagram or wa at wamusic.com. All right. Jima.